In real flow for Cinema 4D, we have another type of solver. It is the elastic solver. To add an elastic solver, we need to select the elastic deformator from the real flow menu. As the elastic is a deformer, since it includes a particle skinner, we must connect it to the geometry which is going to be deformed. The elastic will fill the geometry with particles and any change to those particles will also affect the geometry. We add the gravity daemon from the daemon's menu inside real flow. In order for the particles to collide with the cube, we must add a collision tag to it. If we simulate now, we see as the octopus geometry is being deformed by these particles. We are going to adjust the friction parameter in the collider tag. In the elastic node we have the parameters to control how the particles will be deformed when they collide. To add more stability to the scene, we can increase the steps inside the simulation node. So increasing the steps will make the simulation behave better. We are going to increase the friction inside the tag collider to prevent the particles from slipping. When we want to affect several geometries with the same elastic deformator, we must connect the elastic node within a null where geometries are children. In order to do that, generate a null node and connect the geometry to that null. Finally, we also include the elastic node to the null node. We see that both geometries are being deformed by the elastic itself. Let's create a couple of materials and assign them to the geometries. Play the viewport in wireframe mode, we see there are particles within each geometry and those geometries are deformed by the skinner included in the elastic. Selecting the elastic node, we have the configuration parameters of these elastics. Thus, for example, by modifying the body stiffness parameter, we also will be indicating how much it costs the elastic to return to its original state. Modifying the auto collision parameter, we indicate if the elastic is able to collide with itself depending on its value. With a value of 1, the elastic particles are going to collide between them. With a value of 0, there won't be a collision between particles. In this case, we are generating an elastic to control the geometries. Now in real flow for Cinema 4D, we can mix several fluids in the same scene. So we can add another elastic that could have parameters different from the first one. So in order for both elastics to collide between them, we must link them. Let's first add the second elastic to the collision tag for the cube geometry. And now, to 
make both elastics collide between them, we need to select an elastic node and drag the other elastic node inside its links field. We must do the same for the other elastic node. This way we can change the parameters of each elastic without affecting the other one. However, the steps will continue affecting both equally, since these steps are defined by scene and not per fluid. <laughs>